Hello and welcome to the first part one of the series of tutorials for building uh, what I call the cloth. Now here's the idea. So far everything we did involved uh, rigid objects as if they were made out of solid materials. Uh, like you know they seem like plastic or metal or something like that. And now we're going to start dealing with soft materials and the first one is cloth which is a very cool component that comes with Unity. Of course we will end up building it too. Uh, the oculus. And to demonstrate things made out of cloth, our example is going to be a flag. So let me show what it's going to look like when we're done. If I play, the idea is that it's soft, that it's waving in the wind, it's got some randomness in it, and so on. Very realistic. So let's get started. Let me move this out of the way. As usual, there's going to be a word. Um, document to guide us. And the idea is, of course, that you're supposed to read this while watching the videos. Also, as usual, uh, in your course shell, there's going to be a zip to download with what I call the cloth teacher pack, which this time doesn't have that much. It has a few shaders and it has a few textures just, just to get um, started with. So let's see the setup. Start from Unity Oculus template project, just like one we created in Spatial Computing 2, Lab 1. Uh, if you've done all the labs so far for the Oculus, you know what I'm talking about. It's the one that is basically an empty template, but ready for the Oculus. I have already uh, extracted or duplicated one of those. I'm going to change its name to Oculus Cloth Vid, so I can tell it apart from my other uh, versions. Um, and I'm going to go to the Unity Hub and add that. So I'm not creating a new project in the Unity Hub. I'm using a duplicate of that uh, empty template for Oculus that we've been using for throwing the ball and, you know, for everything since we started doing Oculus. Uh, I'm, since this was created back in version 1.6 for 2020, and now my latest stable version is 2021.9, uh, I'm changing it and I'm opening it, confirm. See how long that takes, don't wanna to take too much of your time. Uh, while it's opening, let's go back to the Word document. Uh, and of course, uh, we need to download, oh, here it is, um, the pack. But before we do that, it opens with the project settings. If it didn't, I would, of course, would go edit project settings. And I would change under player the name of the object from Oculus Empty, which is it inherited from being an empty template, to Oculus cloth for vid. You don't need to add, you know, for vid, of course. Uh, and then I can close it. Uh, as usual, we want to make sure it's basically empty. The only thing that is in there that makes it ready for the Oculus are those player settings that we worked really hard uh, to achieve and the fact that it's got the Oculus package. I'm just going to make sure that it's the latest one. So my method of you know making sure that it's the latest one is deleting it deleting the one i got don't be afraid it's still downloaded in my asset so window and package manager and it's fetching all the packages that i have in the store if i load all of them i got 62 of them and look alphabetically I will find the Oculus integration, and this will tell me if I got in my Unity the latest version of it. Otherwise, it would say download or upgrade or something, and if it doesn't say upgrade, that means I got the latest one from December 22nd, 2020. Import, as usual, brings you the window where it asks you what to import. If all the icons say new, that's a good sign. It means it's not going to override anything important. I already have import. 
I don't know how long this should take. If it takes long, I'm just going to break the tutorial and go to part two. We shall see. Meanwhile, while it's importing, since I'm still recording, I'm going to go to the Word document and see if we're following everything that we should. Um, yeah, so start from a Unity Oculus template project like the one we created in Lab 1. I would even add to that um, Lab 1. And as a step 2, I will add Make sure oculus package is updated okay um if i go back here um as you probably experience with all the others when it's finished importing what it might ask you because it's still importing, yeah, here it is, is to update the Oculus Utility plugin. Of course, you say yes. It might ask you to update one more thing called uh, the Spatializer. And then restart Unity. So whatever it, yeah, here it is, Upgrade Spatializer Plugins. Upgrade, and it will start Unity with a fresh new Oculus package. At this point, since it's about to restart, I'm going to stop this tutorial and uh, I will see you in part two where we start actually the steps.